Falling on your feet, do you finally see what you're missing? Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you a bunch of products that I have uh, been decluttering from my collection. I do apologize for the quality of the footage because I was um, recording separately and uh, on some products my camera was not able to focus. So just uh, apologize for that. I'm not able to re-record the video because I have tossed the product and at the end I'm going to show you how I set my vanity area. So if you are interested to see what product I have been just uh, decluttering from my collection, some of them were just all expired or they did not work for me and then I couldn't find any reason to keep them along then just keep on watching and if you are new to this channel just subscribe and give it a thumbs up and now let's go to the declutter portion of the program as you can see I have a box full of products so I'm not going to spend too much time uh, to each product so this is by the brand Nair Hair Remover and it's a, a cream that is supposed to remove your facial hair that, this didn't work for me so beside that it had a horrible smell I purchased it many years ago from iHerb and I didn't use it this is a primer that I got and I never use it is by the brand Fusion Beauty and it's a Illumifil I, I think this is new I don't remember yeah this is a new product I don't remember remember using it just I thought it's a cool product because it had this ball but other than that, just a lesson learned for me not to, to get so many beauty boxes because this is the chance when you get beauty boxes that you are going to end up with some products that you cannot use or they don't work for you. This is a slick makeup palette that I received also from Look Fantastic. It was in a subscription box. I never went for those shades I thought they are crazy the pigmentation wasn't so bad but just I didn't like they were too sh sparkly shimmery so yeah this might be a shocker for you I'm decluttering the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Foundation <clears throat> I never was such a big fan on how this foundation looks for me I had it in the shade 1N and I think most of the part that I don't like it it's the fact that I don't like the shade but also I don't like the I don't like the longevity of this product. I thought it's looking oily after a few hours. So yeah, there is no point. I have other foundations that I enjoy, including from L'Oreal. All right, a few sponges that I don't like. This kind of sponges. A few bare mineral original powders. This is the mineral veil and this is the bronzer. I believe that I declutter already the foundation. So this is what I have left, but I just don't dig for this product anymore a crazy eyeshadow palette from physicians formula i just don't like the sparkles it's too too shiny i think i might have uh, might have worn it once or two times i think they still have this in uh, collection or at least on uh, iherb or on sites where they uh, sell physicians formula but yeah it wasn't for me oh this i wouldn't been declutter it but I just drop it and it smashed I loved this this is the wet and wild mega glow contouring palette in the shade dulce de leche yeah a palette from elf that I purchased for a full face of elf by the time I didn't have elf bite size and this kind of shades but it's new I haven't used it so I might keep it and give it to a girlfriend because I just don't don't need it most of the products that you see here now are lippies so yeah i'm going to show you because i was i was going ham to my lippies so those are some uh, maybelline also maybelline they are too old liquid lipstick this is a shadow stick from ico that i don't like it i'm just not a big fan of these chubby sticks this is a clinic gloss that was very very sticky I can tell that I use a bit, or a, a bit of it, but it's just way too sticky. I'm not sure about the close-up because I cannot say I cannot see exactly the um, viewfinder, but I hope it is in focus. Okay, a broken NYX eyeshadow, broken cap. 
a few nail polishes that I just never used. Actually, th those were considered to be water-based nail polishes. I never used them. Are from the brand Little Ondine. They were on trend. They were on trend when I was watching <laughs> nail-related videos. All right, those are some liquid, li not, not only liquid lipsticks. This is a Kat Von D liquid lipstick. This is a Huda Beauty or Huda Beauty. This was a beautiful shade, but I never wore it. I got it in a Sephora collection kit with more lip shades. I have done a video in my early months here on YouTube. I will uh, link that video in case you want to see what it looks like, but I'm not so much digging liquid lipsticks. This is a product that I very much enjoyed. This is the Urban Decay, the Hi-Fi Shine Gloss. Love it. And it also has a nice scent to it. It had because now that's why I uh, toss it. This is something from L'Oreal, I think. Yeah, it was some like a lipstick. The camera is not focusing. Like powder. Can you tell what is this? I don't know why I bought this. This was a jewel sided. It was a <clears throat> liquid lipstick and a perfume by the brand True Red or Limited. No, True Red probably. I got this from um, Marks and Spencer. Here I have a bowl. Oh, the perfume is still okay. And this is... Actually the shade was nice and I love the concept like you go out and about and retouch your perfume and also retouch your gloss. And this was a Skin Chemist London lip plump, which I haven't used. It. I think it also changed the color or maybe it's changed it because I have used it in uh, top of other lip colors. This is a Maybelline lipstick. Urban Decay. This was on the shade Criminal. It's a comfort matte, just a bit too bright for me. This I'm not sure. It's either from Clinique or from Estée Lauder. It's too old. A liquid lipstick and a gloss day. It does last, but the shade was wrongly chosen. It's or maybe I'm not so much in those dark shade anymore. A slick primer, which I haven't used in a long time. A Sephora Lip Stories. Actually, I have used a bit of this lipstick, but it's highly pigmented and a little bit goes a long way. This was in the shade 22. You can see the dust. It was sitting somewhere on the top. Okay, I need to move a bit fast. A Milani lipstick, which didn't like also that type of crazy pink is too pink for me i was trying to wear it but i also didn't like the formula same applies for this juice or juice cosmetics i remember when i was getting the co cohorted subscription box and we were getting this it has like four years this is a lipstick that I'm very, very sad to part ways with it, but it's too old. It's by Revlon. It's a lustrous formula in the shade Berry Couture, 835. Very, very beautiful. I didn't use it so much and I would have not gotten rid of it, but I was uh, looking here. I'm not sure, camera doesn't want to focus, but I can tell that there is something here which is very similar with mold. So I don't want to take the risk in case that this is mold. So this is happening when it's pandemic and we are not able to go through our lips or lip collection. Even during pandemic, when I was wearing lipstick, I was mostly going towards my hand, to be honest. Another lipstick that I'm uh, tossing is this one by Bare Minerals. Didn't like so much the color. Actually, Lisa J is the one that has made me purchase this, but it's not looking flattering on me. I've tried even with gloss. Okay, those are some lip liners. 
and a Maybelline color drama. This is like a lipstick with the same crazy pink. I know my hand looks terrible from all those swatches. So this is by NYX, L'Oreal, Essence, Yves Rocher. I loved this. This was one of my favorite lip liners and this is by Dermacol, but they are all old. A Rimmel 2-in-1, uh, this is not like, um, this is like an eyeshadow stick and this is a chubby pencil. Very beautiful. I have been wearing this numerous times, but also it's old. Some foundation samples from Sephora, which I don't know which one it is, which is which. This is a Ico London Brow Gel. I'm just tossing it because I don't like the shade. It's too dark for me. This was a self tanner, which is also very old. It wasn't on this bottle. I just move it. I don't know exactly what happened with its original bottle. So I have been moving it here. This is a duo toner and makeup remover from the brand N Semonin or Semonin. Also, I got it in my cohorted beauty box many years ago, four years ago when I was getting that one. A baby Smashbox liquid lipstick. I think it matches my nails, which by the way, they are um, done with an OPI nail polish. This is a perfume from the Salvatore Ferragano. Ferra Ferragano, I'm not sure exactly about the name, but if you look closely, it looks separated. It doesn't smell bad to say that, but I don't like the way it separated. So I thought it's time for it to go. This Mario Badescu facial sprayer, I wasn't able to finish it. I wasn't feeling that it's doing something for me. I mostly use it to wet brushes before applying eyeshadow, but I think also it's very, very old. This is a Ila Masca. I'm not sure if I should have... Why is here? Why is this here? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a gimmicky product. It's like a contour stick. It's a universal. Don't look at this color because it's sheer. And also very patchy. I'm not sure. Hmm? Maybe I should keep it tried. No, no, it's it's too old. But I like the fact that the same like Persona Cosmetics, we have this cap. Oh, guys, I think most of the time I wasn't in focus. So I'm not sure if you'll be able to see. Yeah, a um, nude color that I used in my waterline. I'm just not reaching for this anymore. And a liquid liner from a brand that I got when I traveled to Poland. This is a dark blue like a navy color a crazy lip mask that i got in boxy charm i'm afraid to open it i don't know there is something red here which i'm afraid that it will spill all over so bye bye another foundation sample and <laughs> an eye cream with antibiotic you know usually you are supposed to use seven or ten days after opening this is everything i have been uh, decluttering if i will declutter something else before editing and putting up this video i will include it here but so far i'm happy that i'm letting go so much makeup i think i'm not going usually usually i'm keeping my old makeup in boxes to see how much i've used up but this is not used up makeup it's mostly like makeup that it's expired or i don't like it anymore and beside a few products that i'm going to try to see if my friends want the rest of it it's too old and has to go all right you guys so i'm recording this last part of the video with my phone so i hope the quality is slightly better so i wanted just to show you what my uh, storage looks after i've been uh, decluttering some of those products so starting with this drawer i have now my smaller palettes and also i have some uh, uh, blushers and few things that did not fit in other category and here in this small container i have a few singles yeah the only downside with this kind of alice drawer is the fact that you cannot fully open the drawer so the product that sit on the back of the drawer 
it's very difficult to move them especially if you have something larger like i have here next drawer it's with my bronzers and blushes highlighters and uh, hi here i have currently the mascara that i'm using this is a iconic london i think it's the blusher that i just keep it in the pouch because this is uh, uh, how i got it so yeah i like to keep it here and i have also a few bronzers and my mascara that i currently use I actually have one mascara that it's outside because I just recorded a get ready with me and on the this last drawer this is more organized so I only have primers I have uh, several primers this is a Bitery Hyaluronic Hydra powder which is new and the rest of them are primers maybe not all of them because I also have some stuff like that and you know the foundation drawer it's again crying foundation and concealers and also have some um, blushes on the next drawer i have my larger palettes some of them because i have palettes in other places and here i have random stuff mostly brushes that i don't, don't use organizers and some nail stuff and on the last drawer it's what i have new and i still need to test or do videos first impressions about so those are in packaging and i didn't show you the first drawer on the top i have all my brushes but not all of them i have my uh, brushes and here above i have my sonia g and this container and here i have nars no, no, sorry, um, refer this storage container, I got it from um, Primark. And here I have um, other lipsticks and a few palettes that I reach for more often. In this area, I have lipsticks and here I have a few more random things. So this this part you sometimes see on the, on the top when I'm recording, you might see this part appearing in my background when I'm recording at my vanity. This drawer it's with nail polishes. This is on the top. So above I have the brushes. And relating to my vanity area, so as you can tell, I have this. This is the old one, uh, old organizer that I had from Sheen. And I just put the other one. Maybe I should, I should um, record from a uh, distance too. So you can see here I have pencils, lip pencils and stuff like that. On top I keep my powders, here I have lipsticks, face palettes on, and on the other organizer also blushers, bronzers, things that I mostly reach for. Here I have most of my Natasha Denona mini palettes. Also I have this one from Catrice. So those are things that I mostly reach for. My Westman Atelier Contours. This is the other organizer that I got from Sheen and I put it here. This is a Refru organizer with palette and those are also from Refru and this is also from Refru. So this is also, so I have a few organizers from Refru. I believe they still have them on stock as of now. I will link them down below in case you are interested. And here I have some random, sting, random things. And I managed to stick one of those shelves that I got from Sheen and I also keep some things handy. So this is basically my vanity area and vanity storage tour. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm going to see you really, really soon. Bye you guys! Bye bye!